This machine behind me here was purchased from GMCNC just before Christmas, installed here at a company called West Special Fasteners. I'm going to speak to Paul Arnold, who heads up this section, and find out what he thinks about these machines. Just had some new machines installed here at West Special Fasteners. Yeah. Uh, two Victor V Turn NP16 machines. They're quite small, aren't they? Yes, uh, we bought them for that particular reason with a small footprint. But so, I, I was also quite impressed at the working capacity within them, though. They're quite big, aren't they? Yes, yeah, you, you can do quite a range on them, yeah. It's and are they good. just turning machines, or do you have the milling function? Uh, on here? These particular ones are just turning machines, but okay. we, we do have other. Uh, Victors, which are milling machines. And what's your opinion of the machine so far and the installation so far? Uh, the installation was fine when everything went smoothly. Uh, as you say, we've only recently acquired them and thus far they have been very good, yes. Let's have a look at what you're doing here. Um, maybe in, in your hand you could show us where you, well, how the product starts and how yeah. it finishes, because you make basically fasteners here, don't you? Yeah, yes, And we this do. is forged and then, well, yeah, you talk us through yeah. it. Uh, as you see here, we've got the socket caps which are forged in-house uh, and on the new machines we are taking that product from a blank and turning it um, and drilling it and facing it all in one operation. Okay, how does the machine handle the drilling on there? Because it's what's the material to start with? Yeah, it's, it, it's quite a tough material but we've got the uh, specific drills to do that. We'd be running that at like uh, 1800 revs to drill it which is quite uh, quite a fast process to be uh, honest and, and just what is the material Paul uh, I believe this is duplex this yeah it's a duplex and you don't get any chatter and you don't get any vibration on the machine when you're when you're actually no, performing seem, either of those machining operations no they seem seem fine mm. yeah and um, the control of the machine and the operating because that's really what what you do here Paul isn't it the programming the operating the yeah. setting what, what do you like about these machines in that in those areas? Uh, uh, obviously, they both got fanuc control, which is a very um, it's, it's, it's a programming system we are familiar with, and so it's just just very easy to program from from the guys that we've got on the shop floor. Like setting the tools with a BMT turret, getting the truck, getting the parts in, is, is that all very easy? Yeah. Even, even the ejection of the components, does that all work well? Yes, yeah, it's, it's all been fine so far. Yeah. Uh, we've got one behind behind me running. We're doing a thousand bolts, and that'll just be on continuous all day. Just literally and set it up and leave it to some certain degree. Yeah, I mean, even with the harder materials, you're happy to do that. You don't worry about the tool, the tooling aspect, the wear. Uh, generally, you've got a control, a swarf control, which you do through your speeds and your feeds. But even so, you you get a general idea of the tip life, and then you'll just. Uh, Change, change your tool in at a certain uh, degree of time, I guess. And, and have you taken some depths of cut on here on hard materials where you've thought, oh, I didn't think that machine would handle that, but it has. Have you been quite surprised at the output? Uh, I think we have really. Uh, generally, do obviously to get the speed of the component out in time, uh, you've got to take the most cuts off that you can and. Uh, it's all been fine, we've had no issues with the machines whatsoever.